So, uh, gain a little bit more review on uh, um, database systems and, and in particular uh, functions that you are going to be relying on the database management system for and therefore functions you should ensure are indeed part of your database management system. So, uh, transaction persistence. Um, again, uh, that is something that you would think is a, a basic, a fundamental, and for the most part it is or should be, but again, check it, you know. Um, there are occasional surprises in, in this regard. And uh, that, you know, we, we are relying on, we are no longer building our own uh, stuff. We are, we are relying on, increasingly, on other people. And uh, just in, in general, we have to check that those systems, those functions, have been created and have been created properly, are implemented correctly. Um, and in the way that we want, again, you know, the type of security. Some people may say, yes, we, you know, our uh, security is uh, absolutely hard and fast, and they're talking about confidentiality, and they've never thought about availability. And so your business continuity situation uh, could be compromised in that way. So, you know, just general things. Um, fault tolerance and recovery. Uh, again, you know, like I say, business continuity. Um, uh, what happens when something goes wrong? What does the database management system do in that situation? Um, is it going to go hard and fast on the confidentiality and just refuse to tell anybody anything? Um, is it uh, going to report an error? Is it going to report an error in detail, in sufficient detail, that it gives somebody uh, information that they may need to mount some other type of attack. So uh, there are, you know, different aspects of uh, fault tolerance and, and recovery that can be important in other areas of security. Uh, sharing by multiple users. Um, we, uh, you know, database systems by and large are, are not uh, single user systems. Um, we have multiple users accessing uh, the database. That, that is, you know, very, very common with database systems. Um, um, well, as I say, you know, social media is basically database with different types of, of query and reporting functions. So, uh, we have multiple users. Um, do we have the proper access controls for different types of users? Again, this was uh, something that uh, Facebook uh, got into trouble about because um, they just, you know, they, they started putting the functions in and, and never thought about uh, what do uh, different types of users want, um, you know, do we want everybody to have complete access to all of this really personal information? And of course the answer is generally no, and they hadn't made any provisions for that. Um, so. Uh, so different types of security controls that we are going to have to ensure either are there or put in place ourselves. Um, and, and even a situation like, is it possible for us to uh, implement additional security controls? Is, is that um, capability available to us? Uh, so... Um, you know, we, we want to know that about our database management system. Um, transaction processing, uh, a specialized function um, 
and and very common in business of course we're you know transactions buying things selling things inventory whatever um yeah we we need to know uh all the the details of the transaction capabilities for this uh this system and uh the uh um, integrity of the database and again you know the, the uh, uh, we've talked about the uh, relational database management system and the you know referential and entity integrity there um, that's built in but that's only for that type of integrity um, the integrity of the actual entry uh, that is most often up to us and, you know, are we putting, um, you know, non-numeric data into a price field? Uh, are, we, uh, are we allowing uh, non-numeric entries in a uh, telephone number field? Which we should be doing because we have uh, certain situations where we need to have non-numeric uh, commands, like a pause or something in... Uh, dialing a number and entering a code, for example. Uh, so, you know, we, we need to have uh, controls about the integrity of the data in terms of, is it, is it proper? Uh, you know, not just in terms of what the relational database can give us, but, you know, is, is this uh, real data? Is this correct data? Um, who gets to say that this is correct? And as I frequently say about... Uh, access control managers should have read access to everything and write access to absolutely nothing um, so keep your data integrity secure